Hello guys, it's Jerry here, and today, I've got a very interesting keyboard with me, the Gamma K K61. This was actually sent to me by Banggood, but that won't change my opinion on this keyboard. Opening the box, we're greeted by the keyboard itself. It also comes with a normal USB-C cable. They've also included a keycap and switch puller, which I would rather not talk about. But I like that they included a brush to clean the keyboard. This keyboard was priced at 64 US dollars the last time I checked, and it comes with a variety of switches. I got sent the Gateron Yellows as it is considered one of the best budget linear switches. The keyboard could also come with Gateron Blacks, Blues, Browns, and Reds. This keyboard has a 60% layout, which means no arrow keys. It is in a family of keyboards with the exact same design but different layouts. So you should consider that before purchasing this keyboard. The main feature of this keyboard, however, is the amazing RGB, both from under the keycaps and from the underglobe. You can toggle through many different options using keys on board. The whole keyboard case is made up of a translucent material called frostic acrylic. The main purpose of that is to help spread the RGB underglow. The case is made up of three different layers. The back plate, the middle piece which looks so fragile, and the top piece which the PCB and the switches are mounted on. One thing that may let some people down is that the switches are exposed but that is totally up to preference. The PCB also supports 5-pin switches which are compatible with some high-end switches like Telios. However, with all that said, the Gateron yellows are still pretty scratchy, but that could easily be removed with lube. The main problem, however, is the stabilizers on this keyboard, which are just really bad and have a lot of rattles. Just take a listen. So as you can hear, the switches are really rattly, and that is mainly due to them not being factory looped, and they are fitted very loosely on the plate. So for today's upgrade, we're going to start with the stabilizers. The first step is to remove the keycaps of course, but when I use a keycap puller, 99% of the time the switches will come out with it. So I will use tweezers to push down on the switch so that it doesn't come out with the keycaps. So after dismantling the stabilizers, I realized that the legs are yet to be clipped. This causes rattle when the stabs are bottoming out. So I use a wire cutter to clip out the legs. And it should now look like this, with a flat bottom. Then I proceeded to apply Crytox 205G0, a very thick lube, on both the insides of the housing and on the wire. I will link some more detailed tutorials down in the description. When I put the stabilizers back in, I would like to do what is called a band-aid mod, which is literally what it means. You want to cut a piece of band-aid the width of one of the stabs and stick it on the plate where the stabs will be clipped back in. After that, your stabilizer should clip back in with the tape on the plate. So with the stabilizers done, we can finally move on to the switches. You can simply pull out the switches by clamping the top and bottom sides. That's because this PCB has hot swab sockets, which means that they are not soldered in. I use a switch opener which makes dismantling the switches a lot faster. I also use a lube station which makes the lubing process a lot easier. 
I loop the housings and the stem with Crytox 205G0, and back loop the springs with Crytox 105. Now, all we have to do is to put everything back onto the plate. Overall, I really enjoyed the end product of this board. The stabilizers are free of rattle, and the switches are really smooth and have a nice clack when bottoming out. It is a great choice for both types of people, whether you just want a keyboard or if you are like me who enjoys customizing a keyboard. The RGB just really catches eyes, and that is what makes the board so unique. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I left an affiliate link for you to purchase the product. It doesn't cost you more, but it helps me buy a ton. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.